Hi, I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Perry. And we're here at Clean Field Services near Drayton to talk about proper sprayer cleanout procedures. Proper sprayer cleanout has always been important to avoid residual damage to crops. But with some of the new traits and extended chemistries that are coming, it may be even more important. Perry, in 2012, you had a problem with herbicide residue contaminating a fungicide application. Yes, this damaged thousands of acres of field crops and our reputation. It's best practice to always follow the pesticide label's instructions for sprayer cleanout. But what do you do when the label isn't clear? Some sprayer operators perform a single high volume rinse of the tank and lines. Let's see how well this works. This is our comparison plot. Soybeans sprayed at the full rate of dicamba. After one high volume rinse, we sprayed the rinseate following the instructions on the label. There's a lot of damage to these beans. So instead of doing one rinse with a full tank of water, is it better to do three low volume rinses? Yes, research has shown that triple rinsing is very effective at reducing pesticide residue as long as the sprayer operator is diligent. Don't let products sit in the lines. It's been shown to form residue, corrode sprayer parts, and even soak into certain plastics. Fill the tank around 10% full and circulate it using the tank rinse nozzle for 10 minutes. Make sure you're using a separate water source or backflow prevention to protect your water supply. The nozzle will spray the inside of the tank more effectively than any hose can and it reduces your risk of pesticide exposure. Spray the diluted rinseate on the labeled crop. You can see that first rinse still contains a lot of pesticide residue. Fill the tank again. The second rinse is where we add a cleaner if one is needed. After the second rinse, the damage to the beans is greatly reduced, but it would still be highly damaging to other, more sensitive crops. After the third low volume rinse, there is no visible difference between the plot sprayed with rinse aid and the check plot. Be sure to open up the boom ends when you're cleaning your sprayer. You can make this easier by installing valves in the end caps or installing boom end nozzle bodies. We retrofitted with boom end nozzle bodies to get rid of hard to clean dead ends. We made a clear boom to see inside the boom ends. You can see that the red dye, or pesticide, isn't going anywhere. It is critical to open the boom ends during cleaning. So, triple rinsing, including all the lines, opening your boom ends, any nozzles, strainers, filters, and dual flow metering systems, should reduce pesticide residue sufficiently. You shouldn't have any residue problems on your next spray. Triple rinsing every time we change products and at the end of every spray day has made a huge difference to our operation. <laughs>